Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lance. Now the Lance, in my opinion, is best utilized on a pure strength build, so my stats are going to follow that. I have my usual 60 Vigor pool, because I like my high health pool to survive the high damage that Elden Ring likes to dish out. I have 25 Endurance as the minimum equip load for my armor, talismans, and the weapon that I'm showcasing. And then the rest of my points are literally poured into strength for the Lance as it is just scaling purely off my strength, and then I need the minimum 14 dexterity requirement for the weapon. So that's really it for the stats. As for the actual weapon itself, the lance is something that I've used fairly often on my strength streams. I love this weapon. Great lances in general seem to be good overall. I haven't really given all of them an in-depth test, but their moveset is what I really enjoy about them. They have a great running attack, so really good for closing gaps. They also do very high poise damage, so it's easy to know you're going to stun your opponent. The running heavy on the lance is the charge. Even the jump attack comes out fairly quickly great range as well so you can mix it up you can go from the running attack go for your back step running attack mix-ups its rolling attack comes up very quickly as well so you can go for the running attack mix it up with a crouch attack for a roll catch then maybe even go for a jump attack as well as they all roll catch pretty well together if your opponent isn't react rolling you so it's a really aggressive weapon and i think that's just part of my playstyle and what i enjoy i like really close combat so I like being in there with really hard-hitting weapons that come out at decent speeds. They don't need to be fast and light, but I like I like to know that I'm going to stun my opponent. So high poise damage weapons like Great Lances, I really do enjoy quite a lot. Now this is a regular Smithing Stone upgrade weapon, so you have access to whatever Ash of War you'd like to throw on it. I'll probably use a few good ones that I know work really well, and some funny ones just to try out for the duels to make it a little bit interesting. We're starting with Golden Land, because it's something I don't use often. But you know what? It does have the projectiles that fire and can be used to aggress your opponent as well. It'll be a distraction. I normally would throw on like Giant Hunt or Royal Knight Resolve or a few others that are definitely better on the Lance, but we're going to try ones that I find really good for the Lance and ones that might be interesting just to keep it fun. But yeah, let's just get into the duel and see how it goes. All right, we have our first opponent and it's his name is Magma. Hello there, Magma. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Hello. Any buffs? Not that I realized and changed my flask this time, but yeah. <laughs> we'll go for the backstep mix-up. And we miss. Man, that is not hitting me very hard. Kind of thought he'd have like a, a fire build after I read the name Magma. <laughs> oh no, well, his jump attack did a lot of damage. <laughs> That's for sure. It did like half my health. Why did the light attack not hit at all? Fun fight, Magma. Jumping attack chunked my health, though. Very fun fight, man. And I got to use Golden Land. <laughs> nice. Moving on to our next opponent, we have Haunted. Hello, Haunted, using a greatsword of some kind, and it is the Blasphemous Blade. That I actually still have never used. Maybe that'll be a good one to showcase. I've literally never used that sword. Oh god! <laughs> Everyone has the dragon breath. <laughs> you all love your damn dragon breath. <laughs> which is fair. Oh, does that sword... Wait, which sword is it that heals you? Is it the Milo sword or the Blasphemous Blade? You think I know, but I don't. Golden land! -ah! Take this. <laughs> Fun fight haunted. See, the Golden Land was effective. It hit him, it distracted him, and it gave me my opening. Very fun fight though, haunted. Very interesting build. Alright, for the second Ash of War, I threw on Ice Spear. I actually didn't know you could put it on Great Spears. I thought it was only available to Halberds and regular Spears, but interesting to know, you can, you can throw it on the Lance. So we're going to try that out with a Frostbite Lance. Makes our AR 609, but we do get the Frostbite build up, so... We'll see how that goes. Hello there. Uh, Ashire hey. the Dull. Hello, hey. man. Interesting armor set, actually. I don't know what one that is. I think you have veteran's pants, but that's about it. Hello there. All right, so no buffs? No buffies? Hwa. Hwa. I wonder what his plan is here. Oh, the reverse back step. I do that too. <laughs> Interestingly enough. Oh! It's got a horizontal slash. I was going to go for the... Uh, the dodge on the vertical hit and just try to strafe it. Boom. We got a build up. It's 
smart though. He has the pellet, so he's ready. He's ready to not get frostbit. Which is good. Take a trade. Um, I guess it was favorable because we have frostbite buildup, you know? Let's try this. Oh, that did hit him. He rolled away. Like, if he would have rolled left or right after, it wouldn't have hit him. But very fun fight, man. Interesting. What did he have? Wild strikes on that, I think? I still have to try that out as well. Our next opponent is the Beer King. <laughs> oh, that's the Beast Claw Hammer again. I actually have to use that still as well. My opponents are giving me good weapon ideas. Are you good? Do you need any buffs? All of you. All right, we'll throw on a buff. I was actually smart enough to plan prehand or beforehand prehand <laughs> with the magic boosting flask. Oh. I mean, he did a lot of damage too, but I just did a thousand damage at him with that spear. Why? <laughs> oh, very fun fight, Beer King. <laughs> Full trade fest right there. Oh my god. I, that wasn't even the close range hit, just the projectile did a thousand to him. Wow. Ice Spear is really strong. Moving on to the next opponent, we have Dorime? 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 Dorime. Hello there, man. What is up? We have the Stitcher. Hello. You have a wizard helm. Oh, okay. Are we good? That's a good way to start. We're going to have that on at all times with the running heavy, probably. That seems like his plan. We got to roll catch him now. Very fun fight, Dorime. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't see many people use that Ash of War. It actually has a heavy attack follow-up, the, the homing swords right there. You can do the same thrust as the Pebble Ash of War. Very fun fight though, man. Very fun. So I forgot to mention in the last fight that I added Stormcaller as the Ash of War. We didn't get to try it out because I completely forgot I had that selected in the last fight. I just went for jumping attacks and roll catches, but this time we'll try it out. Try and land it. Hello there, Alarian. Hey. What do you got going on? You got the Moonlight Greatsword. Buffing it up. You got Dual Wield Moonlight. Okay, I don't know if I can poise that, which is kind of scary for the Stormcaller, but maybe we can make it happen. Just got to be patient and look for our opening, that's all. He wants to jump attack. I feel like that's a lot of the Dual Greatsword builds are the jumping attacks, which is totally fair. They do good damage, especially if you have the, the Eagle thing on. I say the eagle thing. <laughs> the claw talisman. <laughs> he's got his dodges on point though. Oh, he's got spiral. Oh, he's got lag. Got a little bit of lag. <laughs> very, very scary timing for that lag there, Larian, to be honest. Oh shit. Um, I'm afraid. Uh, he's Mario stepping. We got him with Stormcaller! <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. I'm about to take all the damage. He's 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 invincible. Look at him. <laughs> oh! Where did that energy beam come from? <laughs> what the hell? I'm so afraid. <laughs> My man, please stop with the packet loss. Please. <laughs> please. I don't know when you're going to attack me or not. Okay, I think I ended it. Oh! Oh god. <laughs> Interesting fight. <laughs> He's taken so long to die. I, I okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. All right, that happened. For the next random Ash of War I threw on the Glint Blade Phalanx, that fight made me think, hmm, it might be useful on the lands cuz it makes people panic roll, and this is very good at catching panic rolls. And we could even get that lunge out of the actual initial Ash of War. You get the thrust attack comboed with it, so the range on the lance might not be half bad with that. Oh, hello, Greg. How are you? What are those? Those those are the Radon Greatswords. Hello there. How are you, man? Um, any buffs? No? You good? All right. So we're going to do this. I just want to see how people react to it. Okay, he dodges it pretty well, so he knows what I have now. Oh! I didn't think that was gonna hit me. <laughs> that was so much range on that. <laughs> oh god, okay. 
Whoa, you have no health. What the hell, Greg? <laughs> oh, that did more than half my HP. <laughs> I didn't get to use the thrust because I made a very bad error in the beginning of that fight. <laughs> that The range on the heavy explosion is enormous. I never really noticed it. Wow. All right, our last battle is going to be with Ordovis. Full Ordovis cosplay. Hey, man, I dig it. That's awesome. Any buffs? Do they have any buffs? Are we good? Good? Okay. Whatever you say. I don't know what kind of build you got. I'm guessing Faith to accent the cosplay. See, it's good at roll catches. That's what I was thinking. You could be able to pull it out. Go for the lunge. Oh, hit him with the lunge, I guess. It has deceptive range. R2. Jump R1. Oh, you can't jump a great sword. <laughs> I thought you might be able to. Yeah, you kind of have to panic roll that, unfortunately. Fun fight, Ardovis. Very fun. And honestly, the Glint Blade Phalanx worked decently. Although, I think only because he got hit by the, uh, the initial thrust, which did, which did so much damage. And then... Yeah, that was a unique way to use the lance. All right, let's go try out some invasions. See how they go. We're going to be doing our first invasion in Noxtella. I tend to find very fun invasions in here. Oh, wait. Oh, they're down there. Nice. He's got a summon too. And the first Ash of War we're going to be using is, of course, Giant Hunt. It actually works the best on, like, Colossal Swords, but on the lance, because of the mix-ups, it really confuses people from the running attack or the crouching attack into the Ash of War. The timings are all a little bit different, so... It's a good mix-up on the lance. Okay, well, there's the sun, bro. Hello there. Hello. Onion friend, hello. Let's buff up. Let's do it. All right, you got a spear. You got a shield. I don't know how quickly... <laughs> Yo, oh. Oh, I thought he wanted a nice fight with me. <laughs> I was going to say, that's interesting. I haven't really dueled anybody with a great shield yet, but that's fine. Yeah, onion friend. Oh. I mean, that didn't... Is that giving him a little bit of regen, or what's that doing? I guess. Wizard, I will come after you. I'll kill you first. I'll do it. <laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> I actually want to fight the, the Havel monster. <laughs> that was actually meant to hit his friend. I thought he was going to do like another swing. Wow, Havel Monster. We were having such a nice fight. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> you can heal whenever you want, my little friend. Well, we're going to have to go after your master now. Um, I'll probably go for the giant hunt on the other guy, to be honest. Make that hit a wall. There we go. This is when Ice Spear would be a great choice, because then you could get by his shield. I mean, he doesn't even guard quick enough, though, to be honest, for it to matter. At least this guy's actually burning all of his FP. Like, that seems annoying, but it's actually my favorite thing that he's doing. Because he's burning all of his FP. <laughs> Alright. I guess I may as well take a heal here. We burned like four of theirs. Well, four of the Sun Bros. Actually, wow, I dodged that really well. I don't know how. Sometimes you can dodge it. Depends on, like, the angle, I find. Other times you get chipped more than others, like we just saw right there. Yeah. 
you think he would run out? I wonder how much FP that guy has. I mean, he's a full wizard, so it makes sense, but still got me wondering. Hmm. Normally, we just swap to our guard break weapon, but we're on a showcase, so we got to keep at it with the... <clears throat> Oops. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> no! I wanted to throw a knife. Damn it. <laughs> no. Oh, how unfortunate. <laughs> My bad. My bad entirely. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that was an accident. Completely. Oh, Bloodhound Step. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the next. At least he doesn't have the shield anymore. I'd rather deal with Bloodhound Step, to be honest. I run out of FP eventually. We could trade not exactly into that, but I have a plan. Oh, that magic is pretty weak, actually. Oh, he put the shield back up, of course. You would. I was trying to make him do the poke attack so I can, like, counterattack, but... Not going for it. Jeez. It's a lot of FP, wizard. Wanted to get like a judgment of how much HP he has. Well, at least that doesn't hurt that bad. This is just a, a drawn out waiting game. Um, is the wizard pulling out a bow now? Oh dear god. <laughs> Egg friend is almost dead. Oh yeah, he's dead here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Fun fight, boy. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier to handle if I would have just swapped to a weapon with Ice Spear to guard break his shield, but... See, so you can you can just kill the host if you're doing a one-weapon build. <laughs> Alright, our next invasion's in Mogwin Palace, and I forgot to put on Royal Knight Resolve. I was going to mix it up and put on the other one that I think works very well, but... I was slow, and I invaded first. <laughs> Hello, guys. What is up? We have... <laughs> the Ruin Greatsword. Yeah, that's another one we gotta do. What's the range on that? The answer is all of it. <laughs> he would do the final slash. <laughs> when I'm not even near him. <laughs> this guy's... Oh no! Okay, good. He's out of FP. <laughs> the golden wave is so annoying. Oh, frig. That's right, roll, son, bro, roll. You're out of a piece, sir. My turn. <laughs> Up you go, hosty. <laughs> Fun fight, boys. That was the weapon art invasion. <laughs> the Ruin Greatsword and the Wave of Golden. Or the Ash of War, whatever that Ash War is. <laughs> Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Lance. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's the stats on the right, the armor that I enjoy wearing, and the talismans that I utilized for the showcase. And keep commenting other weapons and Ashes of War below, because some of the showcases I wouldn't have thought of without the comments. I'm going to be really honest. Some of them just slipped my mind, so I appreciate you guys commenting all those weapons. And thank you. Until I see you guys for the next weapon showcase, goodbye, and have a good day. Goodbye, goodbye.